So we have the motherboard in, the power supply in, and of course move the fan from the back to the top uh, in this case. I am going to install my RAM next. I have matching sets of RAM, as you should always get matching sets. Uh, this motherboard has uh, four slots um, in pairs of two. Sometimes you get them in uh, groups of three, um, and then you get six slots. But in this case, I'm putting uh, eight gigs of RAM, two gigs a piece. So we're going to take this out of the protective box here. And again, I'm going to make sure I'm grounded. Um, I'm going to pull the RAM out here. This is DDR3 RAM. All right. Now, <clears throat> it's real easy to put in RAM. If you, if you put in a Nintendo cartridge, you can put RAM in, okay? It's very simple. You just want to match up the, um, the slot. In this case, I'm filling them all, okay? So it really doesn't matter where I put them. But if you're only going to use uh, one pair of slots, um, then what you're going to do is go either... In this case, the, the colors of this case, or the colors of this motherboard, are red and black, okay? And then you have the pairs of RAM in here um, are either black, the two black, and the two red. If you're only going to put two um, sticks of RAM in, then you want to make sure they're in matching colors, okay? Since I'm filling all of the pieces in here, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you just want to match up the slot, uh, or you want to match up the RAM with the slot, because there's a little notch in there, so you want to match that up. Put it in, and just push it in until it snaps. Now what's going to happen is it's going to lock in on one side. Okay. So just make sure it's in nice and snug and go on to the next one. Now like I said, it really does not matter um, in this case where I put them because I'm filling them all up anyway, and they're all identical. And as you probably already know, if you have two sticks of RAM in, they should be identical sticks of RAM to make everything run properly. So we're going to open up another set here and put them in. And you just put it in the identical way, like I did the last one. Snap it in. Make sure both sides are in nice and snug. And go to the next one. Snap it in, nice and snug. On to the last one. There we go. So now what we have is the power supply installed, the motherboard installed, and the RAM installed. Well, partially because it's not all plugged in, but it's actually mounted. Now the next thing we're going to do before we put in the CPU 
we're going to actually put in the hard drive. 